You know, the craze today are these massive flipping hooks, tuna hooks almost, but for fishing heavy matted vegetation, I use the EWG Superline. Still have a great hookup ratio, don't lose fish, and I fish a lot more cleaner. Around grass, the reason why I like this wide gap hook is because when I'm pulling the bait back through the cover, I can tech expose the hook there when I'm pushing up against it. It doesn't hook all the cover and you're not constantly getting the bait foul. And how I rig it is, go through the bottom, very top, come out just probably a quarter of an inch, and then you're gonna tuck that hook in. You, you, and a good way to cheat and, and tell is to lay it over your bait so you can kind of get an idea of where it would lay flat on the bait. Push it back up through the bottom so it rests on the top of the bait. And then I'll just take that point and just barely tuck it in. And so now I just feel like I'm more efficient in my fishing. You're not getting hung up a bunch. And it still has a really high hook ratio. You know, I don't I don't lose a lot of fish. And with the straight flipping hook, you know, I'd go through the same way, quarter of an inch and tuck it back into the body itself. So the hook's not exposed. A lot of times I'm fishing that with a heavy weight above it and I'm going to pull it back out of the grass and so you're putting a lot of pressure on the bait. And when you put pressure on the bait, then you, your hook point shows. And, and all the time, you, your bait will push down and you'll hook a ton of, you foul it up, have to clean it, cast after cast. So every cast you're, you're re-putting your you know, your bug back on there, and you're having to, to clean the grass off of it. So when, when, that, when that grass is pushing up through, it pushes that bait through. And here I don't have near the hook point showing when I put pressure on the bait. 